This is going on. <laughs> this is going horribly. So let me get this right. Where the spark plug's supposed to go, there's half a marigold and an Allen key. Hello and welcome to Car Throttle. I'm Alex. I'm Jack. I'm Ethan. And today what we're going to do is teach Ethan how to service his car. Ethan, how are you feeling? I'm not feeling good. I think the most I've ever done to a car is change a brake light bulb. Oh no. I've sent you a whole bunch of items. Would you like to reveal what you have? Yeah, I'll take you across, shall I? Now the reason that I've sent all of these parts to Ethan is obviously everyone's on lockdown, we can't see each other, and Ethan needs to service his car. Because when was the last time, Ethan, that you serviced your car? Um, well, I've never serviced the car. I've never had this car serviced, I wish. Shame to say. Perfect. Well, that means that this car is well overdue a service. Talk us through what you've got. Oh, axle stands. Oh, are they spark plugs. Oh, sump plug. Yeah. Do you know where that goes? The sump. Very good. Oh, oil filter. What do you think that does? Filters the oil, I reckon. You would think that, but actually, no. No? No, of course it does. <laughs> We're talking about <laughs> air filter. That does your oil. Oh, spark plug wrench and oil. That's today's task. Well, you also uh, forgot to order an oil tray and you forgot to order gloves so i've got a washing up bowl and some marigolds lovely every mechanic uses marigolds what do you reckon jack half an hour to do all of that yeah for a normal person they take about half hour but um we're not dealing with a normal man here are we yeah but i've got two experts sort of guiding me through here have you got a jack yeah my neighbors lent me a jack is it a proper one or is it one of those like widow maker ones that you got no it's a floor jack a floor jack where, how else do you jack something up? Skyjack. Are you two going to be like this all day? What you need to do first is to actually run the car a little bit, get the oil a little bit warm. Ooh, listen to that purr. How long do I leave it running for? You can speed this process up if you just flat on the throttle and redline it. It'll get real hot then. Oh yeah, real hot. You're supposed to be guiding me through this, not telling me silly buggers. Right, Heath, what you want to do now is Engine off, and then handbrake. Handbrake's on, it's in park. Oh yeah, it's, it's an automatic, isn't it? <laughs> uh, if you want to be extra safe, have you got a brick or a couple of bricks lying around? Right, next step, we need to get that jack. Yeah. That's better than we expected. Right, Ethan, you need to get on your hands and knees, yeah. pretend it's a Saturday night, and have a look underneath. On the sills is some like rubber paddy things that look like jacking points that is the best way of describing it there's like a it's little a sticky out bit of metal on, from the sill okay right that's your jacking point and i just pump it don't i oh it's going it's creaking stop stop hold on that doesn't sound good does it jack it wants to be more like ah, ah. can you stop messing around here all right that'll do for now take the axle stand out you basically just need enough space to get you underneath the car. You've got to find a big old piece of metal underneath the car that looks really sturdy. Uh, I don't know. Get us under there. We'll do it. That's the exhaust. Yeah, yeah put on that. Yeah, put on that. <laughs> There's like a big solid flat bit under there. That'll do it. I need like half a centimetre. All right, can, do you think you can get half a centimetre from the jack? So I had to clarify that. Oh, that made me jump. Right, now you need to trust yourself by going underneath the car. Yeah, I don't want to do that. you got to do it. What am I looking for? You're looking for a nut <laughs> in the sump. What's a sump? I don't know what the sump is. The sump is basically the oil pan where the oil sits. I What's don't that? know what the f that means. Why don't you have a look? Alright, stop. There it is. There it is. What? There it is. What? Where it says in massive letters, yeah. engine oil. That could not be more straightforward. This car was designed for idiots, and yet you're still messing it up. Well, you didn't say, look for something that says engine oil. It doesn't usually say that. I don't know what the sump is, though. I... So get a few sockets, get an assortment of sockets. Sock it to me. Have you got it set to loosen? Which way do I want it? Well, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. So that's gonna loose. I think that's, that. No, that's pardon. Lefty, lefty Lucy. Yeah, okay, yeah, you're right. Have you got your uh, washing up bowl? Do I need my gloves? It's up to you. You don't need them. How much do you like that jumper? Is it going to start pissing everywhere? No, it'll come out as one lump. I found these marigolds. <laughs> They're two lefties. God, the plot thickens. And I'm putting this under that bowl. Well, yeah, I mean, it's going to piss out a little bit with some pressure, so you might want to have it a little bit past it. 
We'll see what happens. All right, I'm going for it. Oh, for you know you'd be a lot better off if you were actually further underneath. I the don't want to go any. It's just painful. Oh, I don't know. Shock it. Just give it a hit. Give it a hit with a fist. Oh my god. It shouldn't be that tight. Well, I'm telling you, it is. Ah. <laughs> that's that's loose. Look at you go. Well done, Eat. Come on, man. You got this. That's it. Oh, oh, oh. it's coming. Very good, Ethan. Oh, I am sorry. I'll check for milky residue just whilst I'm here. Shout out to my wife who's helping me film this as well. There's no milk. Sounds like Tesco's right now. <laughs> Very good. What do I do now? Well, you could get the oil filter off, I guess. Do I need gloves for this? Nah. Not really. I've got eyes on her. It's coming. Bear in mind. A oh, you, you absolute. You assholes! I knew it was going to start dripping. Well, does the name oil filter not suggest that it's going to be full of oil? Why are you trying to screw me on this? You're supposed to be helping. Right, your next step, Ethan, you want to put your new oil filter on. But before you do that, you want to get a little bit of your new oil and rub your finger around the rim. Remember that Saturday night thing that we were talking about? Just gently around the rim, that's it. Oh, oh yeah, I can feel that from here. So with this, Ethan, you want to hand tighten it. Don't go crazy on it, but make sure it doesn't fall off. I can't believe what I'm actually doing right now. I don't think any of us can. That's pretty tight. I reckon you're good now. You can put the uh, sump plug back on. So what, so I just put this back in? You want to put that back in. You don't have a torque wrench, do you? Don't really know what that means, but no. You don't want to go tight with the sump plug too much. Okay. That's the oil basically done, right? Uh, yeah, there's one, one component missing from this. Yeah. Oh, oil. Before you chuck it in, you should always put oil in a car when the car is completely level. Otherwise, you're going to get a completely false reading when you check the dipstick. Oh, okay. So I've got to take the axle stands out. I'm afraid so. <sighs> right, okay. So I want three, what, 3.6? But you don't want to just chuck it straight in. You want to brim it. Maybe top it up with some water as well. Yeah. Just when it's starting to just overflow, that's when you want to stop. Put a couple of litres in. Oh, okay, that's going, oh. going every, oh, oh no, <laughs> that's going everywhere. Just spread it all over your engine, that's how you change your oil. Is that bad? Nah, it's all right. It'll, uh, st it'll smell a bit, but. Oh. That'll probably do you, just check the dipstick. Okay, one more, hang on. Oh God, oh God. Well, I'm just accounting for a lot that was spilt, so. Oh, uh, okay, th that doesn't go on there, by the way, that goes there. Oh, cheers. Thanks for that, yeah. Have a look at your dipstick. What's it saying? It's about halfway between them. You want it ju just above the top, right, Jack? <sighs> you two are actually making this so much harder. And your sun plugs in for sure, yeah? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it's on the dock. Job done, Ethan. You've changed your oil. <sighs> right, what now? Air filter? Oh God, we've yeah. still got that to do. This will be easy. Ethan, locate your air box. I assume it goes in this bit, right? Can you open that up? Oh. Oh, look at that. There it is. You remember the orientation of it, right? You've got to put it in the same way. It goes like that. Yeah. Throw it in there. Air filter. Done. You going to do spark plugs now? Or are you just going to celebrate some more? Uh, yeah, do I need to disconnect the battery for that? You need to social distance the battery, so you need to take it out and put it two metres away. Oh. <laughs> Wow, wow, that, that sounds like success. Yeah, that is success. It's like victory. Right, spark plugs. You gotta take the cover off the engine first. Oh, oh, I've done it. Oh, half oh, a Sorry, what was that? Nothing. Oh, yeah, it just pulls off. Where's your coil packs? That's what a coil pack means, for sake. Well, they're right in front of you. What, do I need to undo these hey. bolts? This is getting a bit involved now, isn't it, Ethan? This is a full engine teardown for Ethan. He's going to come out the other side of accidentally rotary swapped it. Oh! Is that a good sound or is that the sound you make when you round something off? No, no, it's, it's coming. Oh, there you go. Why are you lot so into this stuff? I'm really jealous watching you do this. I would like to be doing this right now. Are you jealous that you're not doing it because we would have done it by now and we could actually be getting on with our lives? I'd be going 100 mile an hour in that car right now. <sighs> Doing well, Ethan. One more. Are you going to put them back in the same order? Do they have to be in the same order? <laughs> the look on your face then, when you thought you'd ruined your car. Oh, I don't know, cars are so funny. They have all these stupid rules you have to follow. You can't unbolt this until you've disconnected this. Why how the f am I supposed to know that? Right, okay. Do I want this now? Yeah, uh, ideally, for anyone who's doing this at home, you would have uh, a little air compressor 
and then you can shoot some compressed air down into the spark plugs to make sure that you get rid of any loose crap. Ah, uh, um, just blow into that hole, Heath. Yeah. <sighs> All right, perfect. Okay, this is too wide. Ah. 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 You got a deep socket in that ratchet set you got. Okay, that's loosened. You ordered me the wrong one. I'm terribly sorry. It's off. It's now just leaning up against the side. Oh no. Cut under the end off a hose, make sure it's long enough to go in there and slip over the end of the spark plugs. Why don't you try and suck it out? Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, there go. A bit of you should sort of cram a glove in there. Yeah, well, I've stamped, stuffed a finger in there. I've got one. Ooh. The marigold worked. That's how the pros do it. Right, now repeat that five times, right, Heath? Three, three times. Very good. Four cylinder, Alex. It's not a six cylinder. Oh, no, you didn't. I've hooked another one. Oh, she's a beauty. Got a third. It's like one of those claw machines at the arcade. Where no one wins. We definitely lose a Alex. <laughs> Oh no, stuck. Mary's stuck. Uh oh, where's she stuck? In there, uh oh, uh oh. Alan's key is gonna have to save Mary's gold. Just throw an Alan key in there as well. Yeah. Oh, oh no, I've shot the Alan key off. <laughs> no. It's, it's all in there, hang on. So let me get this right, where the spark plug's supposed to go, there's half a Marigold and an Alan key. Ethan, where have you gone? This is a bad situation, you need to be sorting it out. This is going on. <laughs> This is going horribly. Oh, my old file. <laughs> right, now where's the Allen key? This is, this is really stuck. I'm gonna have to chopstick it out of there. It looks like you're tossing a salad. <laughs> oh. Where's it gone? <laughs> I don't know where it's gone. It's gone somewhere. Did you get it out the hole? Yeah, it's not in the hole. Well, that's something. It hasn't come all the way through. This has turned into a horror movie. Turned into Ethan needing a new car. It will fall out at some point, right? Let's get the spark plug out. Oh, you hadn't even got to that point. I've been messing around trying to get the marigold finger. <laughs> that's something that happens a lot to uh, mechanics. Oh, are you absolutely kidding me? I don't want to put any pressure on you or anything, Ethan, but... You've been doing this for over three hours. Oh, oh, got her. Yeah, yeah. Hook, line and sinker. Very good. What do I do, just whack the next ones in? Well, don't whack them in, Ethan. Get it snug in the socket first, Ethan. Yeah, like you're doing. And then just so you can feel it, so it threads in correctly. You don't want to cross thread them. That one's loosely in. These marigolds have been absolutely wonderful. Are you putting these in order as well? Firing order? Yeah, whatever. It's quite tense, this, isn't it? What happens when you're sent the wrong tools? Oh, I balls that one up. I didn't get it in properly before I pulled out. I hate when that happens. Oh, there we go. All right, last one. You're on the home straight, Heath. Done. Well done, Heath. Do I just put this all back together now? Throw your coil packs back on and then hook them back up. Coil packs are in. Have you got the bug for it now, Ethan? Do you reckon you want to do more stuff? Not really. Is it not a sense of achievement, though? That look at you, with tools in hand, like working away. Yeah, it's all right. F it, we're not getting a lot out of you, are we? Well, Jack, I'm concentrating, I'll have you know. Oh, <laughs> what was that? That, that was nothing, that, that that ignore that. Oh, that's a good sound. I'm so excited for these final two bolts. All right, well, there's a third. You've missed one. What's the third one, Heath? The Batraz, eh? Do you know what? I was hoping you'd forget. I knew! I knew you'd want me to forget it as well. You're just too much of a car guy now. Look at it. It's all in the rest. Oh, I'm done. The only thing that I've managed to do, which I didn't mean to, is leave an Allen key in there somewhere. You've not just been replacing parts. You've been, like, adding bits now, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, hopefully that's okay. Yeah. Right, I'll go and start it up. <laughs> Would you listen to that? She's purring. We did it. Well, I did it. Right, have a quick check underneath. Make sure there's not a whole lot of oil pissing out from anywhere. No, can't see any. Well, congratulations, Ethan. I'm very proud of you. Yeah, man. That's good guy, man. Done. Virtual high five. Ah. You can service a car over the phone. Well, I hope you all learned something from that. I definitely have. Yeah, I think we've both learned that doing a service and changing spark plugs can actually take longer than half an hour. It can. It can take three hours 40. If Ethan can do it, 
than anyone can, right? That's the biggest takeaway from this. If I can do it, anyone can do it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. We'll see you next week. You can watch more videos by clicking here and you can subscribe up here. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you later. See ya. Bye. Oh.